Hello YouTube, Captain Jake here and welcome back to Ivan Tutorial Part Channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to add the flight gear landing weight add-on to flight gear. Um, this will include the testing and a detailed explanation on how to install this add-on. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get ready the video. First, what you want to do is go ahead and download this add-on. Uh, choose the download zip once it's done downloading which I think I already have one there so once it's done downloading you want to go ahead and extract results are this once you double click on this it should it should give you this folder just to demonstrate again go ahead and delete this one this as well and download and click double click on this it will extract it yeah what you want to do is rename it all you just have to do is remove the dash master then you want to go ahead and open and go to this other folder landing weight underscore weight and what you want to do is select all of this and then put them go back and put them in here you're going to delete this folder, it's not of no use, so go ahead and delete it. If I can just drag it. Alright, so once you're done, we're going to go ahead and uh, you can go ahead and close this. I would advise that you put the add the, um, the folder. I would advise that you put the folder in a very accessible place. So you normally put the I normally put this in the uh, in my desktop. I already have one there, so it will just be causing a bit of issues. So I'm going to delete it. But it is the same thing. Now, before we continue, I want to show you something real quick. Now, if you come to the under the install procedures, we have the on how to install it. Now, and how to install it, you can go ahead and. Uh, Open flight gear. And just to show you, this is the add on here on the desktop. So you come over here, go into the settings, and come over to the uh, command line down here. Before doing anything here, I'm going to explain you some, uh, some things. I'm going to come over here, and you're going to see this install procedures. Um, unzip landing rate folder to any place you want so it depends on you I, now be sure that you move the dash master so you can make it accessible and uh, like the other previous steps like I said you'd want to put the you want to put uh, remove these three from the other landing rate folder and put them here and delete that folder once you're done you want to go back here let's go back here and uh, you see so this is the example of it so this is the command line you'd add so we're going to start with the dash dash add-on equals quotation marks and you would have to give it the path to the add-on so basically what you have to do is give it the path to this folder then it will access this folder and get these information the most important ones are these three and those are the most important ones that need right now so once you're done you can go ahead and uh, enter the comp the enter the um, path the um, the main components is going to be the uh, your hard drive and your user and your uh, up to your username this is going to be the key points so you those are the main ones as if you use windows if you're using Mac like I am, you would use you you would eliminate the uh, the hard drive. You can just go straight by users slash the your username, then desktop, then landing rate. Once you're done, you can go ahead and if you'd want, customize this add-on to to fit your. Um, the way you'd want it to be um, you know to do this you will need one of those editing software so I'm gonna be using Visual Studio for this one 
so I have already set this to open when you click to so it should open Visual Studio when you click so double click now sometimes it gives you a warning of restricted mode give a second to load so once it loads you see it gives you restricted mode you want to disable this you want to contrast you can go ahead and read through but uh, when there is you know, yeah, contrast now you want to make sure you have these add-ons installed the xml the first ones are i have the ones that i have installed are the xml just the normal xml and the xml tools just to show you a bit of diff this is the xml by red hat and uh, xml tools by john johnson and then you want to install the nasa so go ahead and tap nasa and this is the lasso language it's just it's made by the same person who made the add-on the uh landing gear add-on the uh sorry landing rate add-on that we are currently trying to do right now so um once you're done you can go into one of these uh, we're going with the aircraft config now if you go to the description of the add-on it, sh it shows the fact that you're capable of letting other people see your landing rate in order to do that there's just this thing right here it says send uh, share and send um, MP message when you land one for yes zero for no um, it's also my, by default is be set to zero so you, you don't have to worry about that if you want to change it like I said you can use any editing software to change this so once you are done over here you will go over to the add-on main uh, in the other main, the most important part will be this line, the landing rank. In the landing rank, different rear types, just to get you a bit of true. But this is the description, this is the minimum feet per minute, and this, what is in the square brackets here, are the RGB codes. So, starting off, I have, uh, you know, customized this to, to fit my own brand, to fit me. So, I've changed the first one from butter. Then excellent and good, then acceptable and bad. The default one, as shown in here, would be excellent, good, acceptable, or bad. Now, obviously, you can add your own. You can add your your own landing rates. You can add it in, but I I would prefer um I prefer not to because I may not know what I may be doing. Also, some of the uh, how learning about this NASA script and everything um, is kind of hard for me, but let's skip that part. Anyway, you can go ahead and rename any of this. Yes, you can rename to, any, to anything you'd want. You rename. Then we already have it set to this, so as we are for the customizing, you can go ahead and close everything. I just create like how you should want to do it. All right, so once you're done, you can go ahead and test this add on by opening Flight Gear. I think so, yeah, it's already open. And you can go ahead and select an aircraft that you wish to test flight. Now, just to be sure, um, most of the aircrafts are compatible, while some aren't. For example, is the seven is the triple seven. It's uh, it's not compatible with this add-on. Only few uh, only a few aircrafts are not compatible, whilst a lot are. So we reason one of the compatible ones, which is the seven six seven. We're going to be landing at Honolulu. So um, you can go ahead and load in, but um, please be sure that you have entered the right directory to the landing to the folder where the uh, add-on is in. Otherwise, it is um, it's going to give you an error message and or either crash your sim from turning from loading. So it keeps on fine, and all we have to do is play the waiting game. All right, we seem to be loading in. All right, so as you can see, once you, once you load, once your aircraft is passed in the air, what you want to do first, or what I recommend you doing, is quickly auto start. 
Um, sometimes aircraft may do this themselves, but I recommend you doing this just in case. And just in case you do, you do want to distance yourself if you think you have made a kind of error in your calculations, you can go ahead and open the PHI, which I have a tutorial for, a tutorial for that, link will be in the description. So it should open the maps up and if you do carefully, you would see this is the uh, your current location. This is the one we are at. So if you think you are a bit too close and you are high, you can go ahead and bring the aircraft way back. Then you can unpause the sim and glide your way down. But since this is a perfect uh, height, so it will have no problems. So unpause it. Oh, that's a lot of people. Yes, you can see kind of popular nowadays. Now, um, I'm not quite a good lander, so. Is that no word? Um, I'm not quite a good a good at landing, so um, might not be a butter. Yeah, this aircraft does have some problem with its landing, so yeah. Anything. Now, in order, just a little bit of you know, reminder, in order for the landing rates to actually um, be enabled, you have to bolt back tires, back landing, landing gears should touch the ground so if only the front the nose gear and the back and one of the back gear doesn't touch the ground then it's not going to activate open flaps don't worry about the warnings it's kind of normal i hope max 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 um for speed brakes Okay, since they're coming a bit too fast. You know what? Let's go ahead and enable the spoilers. When this thing starts to lag badly. Okay. I'm going fast on sorry. Oh uh, wait, this is not gonna be great. This is not gonna be great. This is all right. 30, oh, sh oh, oh no. Um, hmm. We 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 seem to have a problem here. Um, the the aircraft. Uh, uh, ma'am, th this never happened. This never happened. Um. Um, rewind. Final approach. <laughs> You're gonna hit pause over here. My controls. Pause. Landing gear down. Landing gear down. Uh, oh, oh no 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 no. Oh, it's lag. This lag. Oh, up. Oh, yes, you can see. There we go. Got two landing rates. Hey, eh? eh, it's, it's all part. Of, well, it's all part of the plan, probably. And park it back on. This is not something you should do. Park it back on. Uh, you can it reverse trust it on better, but yeah, yeah we are we are, we aren't doing that. And we have stopped somehow. All right, let's go ahead and taxi our way off, out of here, off of here. And you are stuck. Auto brakes, okay. I'm gonna turn to the right. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I uh, hope you found it helpful. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe for more content like this and uh, share with and be sure to share the, the video with your friends. Um, yeah. So without any further ado, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. 
Oh, sorry. Bye-bye.